five workplace triggers that can be tough for someone just out of rehab. You did it. You got through drug rehab. You braved the challenges of drug detox, put in the work during therapy sessions, and built yourself a great support network that'll serve you through your recovery. You're ready to take on the normal world and go back to your career stronger than ever. One of the things we're proud of here at The Edge is that a lot of our clients continue going to school and or working when they're at our outpatient drug rehab. Having a job is actually really great in rehab. It stresses accountability, responsibility, and it adds real purpose to our lives. But the challenges aren't over. Recovery isn't a destination. It's a state of being that has to be carefully maintained and nurtured throughout our life. Learning how to function in a world where most people aren't in recovery is a challenge. And workplaces have their own challenges too. Here's nine potential relapse triggers you need to be on the lookout for while you're at work. Trigger number one, stress. Job stress is bad for everyone, but it's especially risky when you're in recovery. Stress is one of the biggest addiction triggers there is. Worse, it can lead you to experience burnout. Trigger number two, abusive workplace. Abusive workplaces are awful for everyone. A manager, CEO, or supervisor who displays intense anger at meetings, belittles staff, and hangs the threat of firing over everyone's head can ruin your confidence, make you feel even more stressed out, which can make you relapse much more likely. Trigger number three, your coworkers. Part of recovery is being around people who either don't understand what you've been through or worse, think you're less of a person for having gone through rehab. Spending hours a day with people like that can be very tiring and stressful. Trigger number four, trauma exposure. Some careers, emergency services, social work, and more involve regular exposure to trauma. Trauma and related disorders like PTSD are one of the leading causes of addiction. Trigger number five, relationships at work. One of the things you hear about a lot in the recovery world is that you should avoid dating during your first year in recovery. And this is particularly true for office relationships, which can add a lot of drama you don't need, like gossip and potential problems with the HR department. So what can I do about it? One of the more common suggestions is to just find another job. This always feels a little trite to me. If you've ever been on a job hunt, it's incredibly stressful. And that said, if your workplace is presenting a real threat to your recovery, it may be time to look for another job, or at least reach out to your supervisor and let them know what you're experiencing. Many companies want to retain their talent, and you might be surprised at how willing supervisors can be to do what needs to be done to keep you on the team and happy. It's also wise to make sure you're using all the resources you have. Drug rehabs like The Edge help people create lasting, positive support systems. Talk to your sponsor, reach out to the buddy you made at rehab, and work your program. You'll be surprised at how many people in recovery have faced these same struggles. By talking it out, you'll likely get advice and strategies that'll help you stay in recovery while you power through the difficult times at work. Many of our clients here at The Edge continue working and going to school while they're with us. And our help doesn't end when they graduate from our program. We offer a robust continuing care program that helps provide you with resources even after you leave the edge. If you're in recovery, how do you manage when things get tough in the workplace? Share your experiences in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. See you next time.